Hello there, and welcome to this episode of Fostering Golf Balls. Unless you're new to the show, you probably already know that I like to de-stress and go for jogs during my work day. I happen to work right next to a local golf course, and there's a trail in which I can find lots of golf balls. And by lots, I mean a quite a good amount. Over the past couple months, I've amassed a good amount in which I've lost on the golf course, but I've also used for my fostering golf balls videos, in which I dive a little bit deeper into the science behind golf balls and, I guess as a science teacher, geek out about them. But the problem is, I never thought I'd find this many golf balls. And by this many, I mean this much. I've even categorized them into different sections, and I've thought to myself, what am I going to do with all these golf balls? I can't lose them all. I can't cut them all open. Maybe I should try selling them. So I did a little bit of research, and it turns out there's companies out there whose entire business model is basically finding used golf balls, cleaning them up a little bit, and reselling them to other golfers who aren't willing to pay top price for a brand new dozen of golf balls that can run anywhere from 20 to 40 to $50 a dozen. You sell them on eBay. And it turns out, once again, there's a lot of people out there who apparently do this for a living. Um, as you can see, um, I'm just scrolling through and I just typed in Pro V1 used golf balls and there's a lot of people who already sell them. So I spent a night packaging my golf balls, organizing them, sorting them, putting them into different categories, getting them ready to be sold on eBay. And with this being fostering golf balls, um, I decided to sell them at a relatively cheap price, hopefully knowing that these golf balls will find a forever home somewhere else, or eventually they'll just be lost in the woods, just like how I found them. Um, as you can see, um, I've listed some golf balls on eBay. Um, not getting much in terms of uh, people who are actually interested in buying them. I do have one bid, someone who's interested in buying some Kirkland golf balls. And I actually have a, um, a person who actually already bought golf balls. They bought some TP5s, which were delivered. And I made my first $30 selling them. Um, this is kind of overly dramatic, but it's kind of like walking your kids off to college, if I, I, I'm assuming that's what it might be like. I knew I know very little about this stuff, so I actually try to put it in the wrong place. Turns out they go into this area because there's different bins for packages. And I thought I made $30, but in reality, I made $17 because I forgot I paid for the shipping and I paid for the processing fees. So the moral of the story is that, yes, someone has new golf balls, but if I'm finding golf balls like this, and I have to find nice golf balls, and it's all based off of people spraying their tee shots 20 yards off the fairway onto a hillside so I can find them. I will not be quitting my day job anytime soon. I will still be in the classroom. I will still be in the schools uh, doing my thing and doing the golf ball stuff for fun. Um, to be honest, if I'm looking at this picture right now, all I'm thinking is, can I build a golf simulator in this classroom? I mean, I got the screen already. Anyways, that's all for this time. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. And I hope you enjoyed the video.